What's your opinion on the few bad apple theory in Minneapolis today? Wow. Do you think that applies to Minneapolis Police Department? So really, legally, um, the authority that the council has has to do with approving the police chief. So um, the mm -hmm. mayor makes a police chief appointment, and then the council has to approve that. So the majority of the council has to go along with the police chief. So mm -hmm. that's a really important part where we might have some big authority. The second way the council can have some real leverage has to do with the budget, because the council also approves the budget. And there's sort of more softer influence that we can have with expectations. Sometimes the council committees will actually give a direction to the police department to do something, and they'll usually do it, mm -hmm. even though technically it could be seen as more of a request because we don't have the same authority to direct the police chief as we do the other department. Do you see a lot of those direct instructions that you were talking about from the council being implemented by the police department? Uh, sometimes. And sometimes not. The city council has very limited power over the police. Mm -hmm. They approve the nomination of the police chief. They roll over on that every time. Politicians, they have all kinds of promises when they get elected. Yeah. This might be the state legislature or anything else like that. They get elected and then some issue comes up and, oh, we have no power over that. As soon as they're elected, it's amazing the extent to which they deny that they have any power to change anything. Yeah. And that's what we hear over and over again. Well, well, you could not approve that contract. In one case, there was a, quite a bit of controversy, and they approved the nomination of the police chief with a few conditions. Turned out nobody ever, ever followed up on those. Nobody checked whether those conditions were met, and when he came around the next time, it was like, oh, uh, gee whiz, uh, hmm, uh, oh well. <laughs> and this time they approved him without any of the conditions. So. The mayor has total control in the city charter, like the city's constitution. Yeah. It says that the mayor has control over the selection and discipline of the police force. Mm -hmm. So that's where the real power lies if they wanted to exercise it. She has... Um, overly prosecuted people of color. Um, it's not by accident that a city gets to the point where there is a much higher proportion of people of color in the prisons. Then Council Member Fry said two years ago that you only appoint someone whose every decision or opinion you agree with. That would be absurd. I'm only asking whether you agree with those decisions or not, whether you think they're reasonable or not, that they can be characterized as rational. That is not a high bar for you to set for this appointment. So if none of you ask for this clarification today, I guess I'll be back again in two years for at least the fourth time asking you to ask this question of Ms. Siegel. I feel very strongly about this appointment. This is the right decision for the city. This is the right decision for the, uh, the city attorney's office uh, and the, the right decision for, for progressive causes. These departments have been given a lot of authority um, and are seldom challenged and are seldom held accountable. I'm not sure how everybody views the police department, but they're kind of scary. And they shouldn't be really.
thing people should do is know what their rights are with the police to protect themselves. Only so many of the videos that exist are just because somebody happened to be there and turned their phone on. So knowing what to do with that and then knowing who to contact, see what's going on, learn on the internet what's happening, uh, follow you know some of the uh, good websites that uh, talk about policing. Um, and of course it doesn't hurt to learn something about the official story. You know, Six or seven emails or calls on one subject is a big deal when you're on the city council and in 10 or 20 is, it seems like there's you know lots of people so it doesn't take that much at this level of government to make a big impact. The system has a friendly face and it can afford to have that friendly face as long as it's not challenged. And when you challenge the system and get involved, even if it's just going to a public hearing, um, you will see all of a sudden much more of how things really work.